What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sold Out. And on today's episode, we have the Edge Sneaker Soul Spray in front of us. Something different from our normal basketball videos, but it does enhance basketball playing performance. So we figured we'd get it on the channel. Shout out to the guys over at Edge. This is going to be a short video, guys, but let's hop right into it. We're going to start with the cons. Um, because there really wasn't that many. Now, one of the cons is I left this outside. This is a glass bottle. I left this bottle outside and brought it in, tipped it upside down, and it turned into a snow globe. It was like negative 10 degrees here in Michigan. Some of the chemicals must have frozen and separated, but within, I'd say, five minutes, it was good to go. Took it to the gym, sprayed it. It did not affect the performance at all. I have tried almost all these sneakers behind me. I've tried the Kobe's, the Serious Player Onis, um, the Way of Wades, the old Kobe's, the PG6's, and one that you don't see much of. A lot of people were asking me, if it worked with the flow, and yes, it does. So one of the other cons, say if you're sitting on your team's bench and you decide to use this, wherever you spray it, wherever that spray falls, it gets very, very slippery until dry. Now it does only take a few minutes to get dry. On your sneaker, if you spray it on there and kick it, it gets dry super fast. You can go kick your feet a few times and jump back on the court and you're fine. But wherever you spray this will kind of turn into ice basically and it can be very dangerous. So do not spray this on the court like go off the court, go away from where everybody's running. If people are running sprints, just go over to a carpet, hit it on. I would suggest do it on a carpet. If you're in a gym, you see a, a rug or a mat or something, go over there and hit it on the rug. But it, it's not really that big of a deal. Another con might be the price. Price is 35 bucks, but it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Now, will you think it's worth it? I don't know, but if you like having good traction, if you're a fast point guard, side to side, a lot of twitch moves, you will definitely benefit from having edge, especially when you're playing on a, a dusty floor or more of a slippery setting. Now the pros, it works. It just flat out works. It worked on every single one of these shoes. Now given most of these shoes, this is goaded traction. These have ex excellent traction, almost goaded, almost goaded. Great traction on all these sneakers, but I did go out in the hallways, got them dusty. You could tell the difference from when I put them on because I clean my sneakers almost every time that I play. So mine stay clean a lot. So I had to go get these a little bit dusty just to test it. Then I decided to pull my kids in because I know their lazy butts ain't cleaning their shoes because I clean their shoes most of the time. But I don't do it like I do mine. And I had them kind of test their shoes as well. They loved it. They didn't even know what was going on. They thought it was cool. So yes, it does work. It definitely, definitely works, guys. Like I said, if you're a point guard, you're going to absolutely love the edge spray. I think it's 35 bucks. You get, I want to say two ounces. Yep, two fluid ounces. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but it does go a long way. Now here in the directions, when you get it, it'll say what to expect. The first 10 minutes after spraying is a big change followed by one hour of subtle grip enhancement. I disagree. I did not have to respray my shoes the rest of the time. And I was in the gym for over two hours. So I think it lasts a little bit longer than they say. But if you're in a super dusty gym, might be the case. You might have to respray. Step one, holding edge upright, spray each sole three to four times. I didn't have to do that either. I sprayed here once and here once. And so two sprays might even last you longer than what it says it lasts. Step two, kick your soles against the floor until they're fully dry, which means squeak them against the floor basically. And if your sneaker isn't squeaking and it does squeak, it will definitely bring that squeak back to a high pitch volume. Step three, begin activity and notice enhanced grip and agility. Step four, respray soles during breaks to maximize grip. So good news, I did not even have to respray these. Any of these sneakers, not one of these sneakers I had to respray, was on a fairly clean gym, I'd say for the most part. But yeah, I really didn't have to respray. So if you guys are thinking twice about getting the edge spray, I wouldn't. I recommend it to anyone that hoops, um, especially in like middle school basketball. Like the middle school gyms ain't the best gyms. Usually they're older, they're not taken care of as much. I know the janitors do a good job at our schools, but not every gym is created equal and taken care of equally. So if you're looking to get your middle schooler a gift, high schooler a gift, definitely get them the edge spray. I don't think they will be disappointed and you will not regret it. So guys, thanks for stopping by the channel and checking me out. Guys over at Edge, I appreciate you. Hope to do more business with you guys in the future. Seeing you guys are doing big things and hope it continues into 2023. So guys, you know what to do. Leave a comment, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next episode of Sold Out. Peace.